I'm at a brand new location tonight. It is clear, it is cold, going down to minus 10 tonight. I got my little propane heater with me, basically out in the middle of nowhere. Should be an interesting night. First clear night of 2021, and I'm going somewhere dark. What can I say? This is as good as it gets. It is the first clear night of 2021 here in Ontario, Canada. First totally clear night. I've shot on nights with bad transparency, but to have an actual clear night feels so good again. It feels like it's been a year. I'm at a Bortle Scale Class 4 location to take advantage of this rare opportunity. And I've got three rigs set up behind me. Two star trackers, cameras and lenses, and one telescope with auto guiding and go-to and everything. Tonight is all about the constellation Orion because it's just so elusive in the winter time. It's one of my favorite constellations, so many great targets, yet I spend the least amount of time on it despite the long, cold, dark nights in the winter just because it's cloudy, usually almost the whole season long. So tonight, all three rigs will be pointed at different targets in Orion. This is probably the most exciting rig out of the bunch, as you can imagine. The Radian Raptor 61 with the QHY-268C. Now, this is a combo I've only shot with once before, but I was pretty amazed with the results. As you can imagine, a one-shot color cooled camera with an APS-C sensor on this Radian Raptor. Now, inside the filter drawer, I've just got a UV-IR cut filter because, of course, with this camera, you need one of those in front of the sensor if you're just going to shoot broadband RGB. So, under these dark skies, that is the name of the game, broadband true color RGB. I'm going to take full advantage of this beautiful location. This rig is no slouch either. The Canon EOS RA riding on the Star Adventure Pro Pack and then the Rokinon 135mm f2.0 lens. I've never been at this location before but I can already tell it's going to be an incredible night. Bortle Scale Class 4 is what my little app shows but maybe bordering on a 3. I'm just really waiting to see how dark it actually gets out here. I was scared to check the forecast all day as you know when you plan an astrophotography trip. The weather can turn on you within a 12, 24 hour period, but luckily for me, it held true. And it's clear for now. We've got a moon coming up at about 1.30 a.m., but I might be frozen solid by then. There was a lot of things to remember when you bring three astrophotography rigs. The power situation was interesting. Uh, I was able to hook up an extension cord here, uh, but I've got four dew heater bands running. One for the telescope, one for the guide scope, two for each lens and then powering the computer and the CMOS camera. There's just a lot going on and all it would take is to forget one thing. And uh, I came close on a few items, almost had to go back for them. So luckily everything's here and ready to go. I literally just have to wait until I can see Polaris, Polar Align and start shooting. 